everybody. My name is George Strompolis. I'm the CEO and the founder of Fullscreen. We are uh, in case uh, in case we haven't met, Fullscreen is one of the largest and most subscribed networks and communities of creators in the world today. But uh, I'm not here to talk about Fullscreen. I'm here to talk about uh, our space, our industry that we're creating together. Um, and uh, what I'm going to do is actually give you some advice. First of all, when you do these talks, you have to pick a title, right? And so my two cents is just find your favorite rap song and uh, throw some lyrics on the screen. Um, but uh, for those of you who don't know, um, this is uh, a time machine. Uh, it's from one of my favorite movies called Back to the Future. Um, if you're under 25, I highly recommend watching it. <laughs> and um, I'd like to take you on a quick uh, journey through time. So, 2006, um, online video is just beginning. Uh, Judson Lapley is doing the evolution and the dance. E.P. Bird is dropping Mentos into Diet Coke bottles. And uh, Charlie's biting people's fingers. And uh, you know, it's really just the sheer novelty of this new thing. Online videos, literally videos on the internet. It was fun. We didn't know what it was going to be, uh, but it attracted me, it attracted a lot of you, and we wanted to figure it out. And so we started creating. And we started sharing. And we watched a lot. So the space continued to evolve, and we had some fun. And <clears throat> Fast forward a couple years, and what happened is, personally, I ran into a lot of uh, condescending wonkas. <laughs> so uh, I used to work at YouTube, and uh, I remember walking into meetings with ad executives and, and TV network executives, and I would tell them about the creators and the audiences and the passion of the fans and how cool it was and this was this new ecosystem and how fun uh, everything was and how much of a good time we were having and how this was the future of media and a lot of people would honestly they would just laugh and um, you know I think we've all dealt with a few condescending wonkas in our career and um, you know we moved past that so today it's a new era now we've created content we built audiences and we're past that stage of the condescending wonkas. Uh, ad executives, they want to work with us. TV networks, they want to be part of our world. And that's a beautiful thing. So people always ask me to talk about, you know, what's the future? But if we want to know what the future is, let's actually look about what we know today. So young people right now are spending 34% of their time watching videos online. That's a major shift. And they're actually consuming 500 videos per month. So that's about 16, 17 videos per day, which is pretty high. I mean, I watch a lot of videos. That even feels high to me. And we know why they're watching so many videos. It's because their televisions, quote unquote, are in their pocket, right? And they're with them all the time, and they can watch, and they can share, and they can create from their pocket. And they're so attached to these devices that actually uh, a, a recent study found that uh, the majority of young people would rather give up their sense of smell than their smartphone, which I thought was uh, somewhat interesting. Um, I probably would too, actually, I gotta say. <laughs> and so we're not just watching, right? We're creating. And there's become this really fine line between consuming content and creating content. In 2006, about 7% of people actively created content online. You may be one of them, but there weren't that many. And today, 77% of 16 to 34 year olds actively create content online. Now that includes tweets, that includes videos, vines, Instagrams, whatever, but we are cre a, an economy of creators now. It's a beautiful thing if you ask me. It's actually a world where Anthony Quintal, in Boston, Massachusetts, can come home from school and fire up his iPod Touch and watch Michael Buckley do What the Buck Show every day, and you can just be a huge fan, and you can interact, and you can comment, and you can subscribe, and you're just loving this content that feels like it's for you, and you have this relationship, 
and one day you take that same device that you're watching on and you decide to make something and nobody cares and then you make something again and one person cares and then two people and it builds and it builds and then you become Lo Anthony the superstar and in Lo Anthony's case you find yourself on the cover of the Wall Street Journal with one of those awesome little dotted pictures <laughs> that transition is happening so fast now consumers are becoming creators and some of these creators as we know VidCon is the perfect example are building massive massive audiences every new medium has its own formats and its own stars online video is no exception at full screen we're very fortunate to get to work with some of the best and the brightest from the fine brothers and grace helbig to shane dawson and av bite superwoman in toronto and galo frito in brazil and even some newer faces like Gen X Pen and O2L. This is no longer the future of video. These are the creators that have captured a generation. They have spoken to the hearts and the minds of the youth. And it's now here and now. It's what's actually happening. It's no longer what's about to happen. Our goal at full screen is to empower the best creators to produce their best work. But there is a challenge right now, and that is um, <coughs> this bridge. So it doesn't take a rocket scientist to know that the worlds of online video and new media are eventually going to bridge into what we all think of as traditional media, and film and television. It's really going to become one thing. But it's not going to happen by itself. It is actually up to the people in this room, the people in this industry, to build that bridge. So what is it going to take? Are we all going to uh, hope that YouTube does all the work? We can't do that. Um, so we need to invest and we need to grow together. And some of those things that are um, required right now are investment, new revenue streams, creative support, and promotion. And so that's why with full screen, we're happy to announce that this year we will be committing $10 million to original programming for the passion projects from the best creators from this generation. For me, thank you. For me, this is actually pretty significant because a few years ago, I was actually on a stage at VidCon, and uh, on behalf of YouTube, I was talking about a $5 million initiative. We actually decided to invest $5 million into the new voices, and that was really exciting. And so if you need a sign of this ecosystem growing and evolving, here I am, as the CEO of Fullscreen, a third party, an independent company, and now we're investing $10 million into the same thing. And we're really proud of that, and we'll be doing a lot of that with some of the creators you've seen. So again, people ask you to look into the future and predict what's next. And personally, as I like to tell my team, I'd rather build it. So we'll be doing exactly that. And um, we look forward to uh, bringing the best work to you from the best creators from our generation. Thank you.